Five three. Kenya. be the last nail in the coffin, an absolutely inspired return of serve, and it's produced uh, three match points. That's it. So the crowd are claiming a wonderful performance from Pace and Bupati. Six. Seven points to three in the tie-break, and the score 7-6, 6-3, 7-6, a thoroughly worthy win, and one, I think, Mark, which we might probably have expected. Yes, I mean, it was a terrific match, there's no question about it, and I think the hope from a British point of view was, was, was that the luster of the Indians' play was going to not be quite there as a result of being too loved down. It wasn't the case at all. They fought very well, a terrific match, and indeed, I think Tim Hammond and Neil Broad played extremely well too. I think the one chance that Tim and uh, Neil had was in the early stages of the match, John, Mark. It was uh, once the tiebreaker got away from them in the first set, I think it was just a matter of uh, whether they could get into a fourth set at all. And uh, they had a couple of chances in the third, but uh, by the time, I think it was uh, Mahesh and Leander all the way. I mean, they were just the better team, and uh, they proved it. Two hours and 20 minutes of thrills. Well, David... Uh... They just looked too good out there today, the Indian pair. Yeah, I think they were a couple of points better, but it was a very good match. I mean, uh, we had break points in the first set first, uh, then we had break points in the second set, and obviously we had some set points in, in, in the third set. So two tiebreakers, they played well. They seemed to raise their game right at the right time, but I thought both Neil and Tim played well. It was a very tough match. We always knew it was going to be a tough match. They played, they're a good pair. They play every week of the year together, and that's the problem. We don't have a pair that does that. Mm. And you look at the set points that uh, Tim and Neil had. I mean, you, I mean, you can't odds there. The second serve that no, Pays no. pulled out. I mean, where did that come from? No, exactly. I mean, we've been talking to the change rover, especially to Neil, that if he got a big point at 30 all on the second serve, he had to move round. Well, you know, Tim did the same on the set point, and he hit the line. Yeah, that's the way it goes. But no, they were just slightly sharper, but I thought it was a very good match. The crowd were good. Uh, mm. Great tennis. You just sense that the crowd were really getting into it, that if they could have got that third set, that they could have turned oh. it around. Oh, absolutely. I think the match was still very much alive all the way down the line until the last point. They played two great tiebreakers. That was the problem. You know, they got off to a great start, and the tie both tiebreakers suddenly zoomed in the lead. But no, I, I thought they were just slightly better. That was, that was the bottom line, but it was a, I thought it was a tremendous match. So we now go to the final day, and the first match is Tim Hemman against Leander Pays. Yeah. The pressure match? Pressure match, or both pressure matches, but I mean, uh, Leander la last night looked very tired, but he came out today like he had just, uh, well, <laughs> I don't know what he came out like, he jammed a rocket and, and didn't seem tired at all. So it's a tough match, and it's a tough match for Tim, and uh, if it goes down the wire, then obviously Greg's got a tough match as well. And as captain, what do you have to do now to sort of yeah, <laughs> get the morale back? No, I think, you know, we, we felt today was always going to be a tough match. We'd go back and have a nice meal tonight and relax, and we're still 2-1 up. They've got to win both matches. We've only got to win one, so we've still got the, the, got the boot on, and now we, if we can put it in or not. Okay. Thanks very much. Thank you. Okay. Well, Greg, you had to sit on the sideline and watch that match. Uh, the Indian pair, though, three in the world, and they lived up to that billing today. Well, well, definitely. I think they played an unbelievable match today. I mean, Neil and Tim, you couldn't ask for more. I thought Neil played extremely well today, and so did Tim. And against any, any other team that we've played, they would have probably easily won in straight sets. But uh, they came up against a team who was too strong, and Bupati and Pays are number three in the world, and they showed why. But I was really positive about how they played. It was, it was a very good match. And it was certainly getting very good. If they'd been able to, to get that third set, it was beginning to turn around. Well, I mean, they had chances. I mean, they had two break points in the first set. Um, 
which they couldn't capitalize on, and they made both returns, but they came up with the better volleys, the Indians, and then we were down love 40 on our serve, and Neil played a great game to get back in there and get to a tiebreaker, but just came down to one or two points, so we need a consistent pair that can play every week that can support us, but I think they did a great job today. How did you feel about not being nominated? Was it because of the long match yesterday? What did David say? Well, I think um, just Neil's been playing very good doubles. I mean, he won the title last week in Bournemouth. Um, that's a speciality, playing doubles. He's won so many titles. So I think it was a good idea to put Neil and Tim together because uh, Neil plays the deuce much better than I do, and Tim likes the ad court. So it, it, was, it was a good idea, I thought. And looking ahead to tomorrow, it goes down to the final day. Tim's match first. Are you happy that he's first, or would you rather get yours over with? Well, I, I woke up early last time on Friday, <laughs> so I guess I'll let him start first. Uh, he's got the 11 o'clock start. Uh, Pace played very well in doubles today, and as you saw yesterday, played well, but I think um, Tim's playing very well, so hopefully he can uh, get the job done for us tomorrow. What can you pass on from having played Pace? Well, I'm not going to pass it on television because they might turn it on before the match. <laughs> but, uh, no, I think if Tim plays his normal game, he should be all right. And uh, hopefully things will work out okay. And uh, physically, are you okay after that five-setter oh, yesterday? Everything's great. Physically, I'm strong. I just have to increase my standard of tennis and start playing a little bit better. Physically, there's no trouble whatsoever. And you play Mahesh Bhupati. What do you know of him? Well, uh, he looked pretty good yesterday. <laughs> I don't think his rating really reflects how he plays. I mean, 362 in the world really doesn't show his standard. I mean, if he could play every week, he'd be much higher rated and, and a much better player. Plus, they have nothing to lose, so they're swinging away and there's no pressure on them. Good luck. Thanks for talking to us. Thanks.